In the realm of combating organized retail crime, two essential pillars stand tall. Individual responsibility and collective action. Into what appears to be a small market in South L.A. <laughs> Once inside the store, this L.A. County Sheriff's team found boxes piled floor to ceiling, filled with cosmetics, medication, and toiletries, along with a stash of sensors. Investigators tell us this location is used to relabel products believed to be stolen. Uh, over hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of products stolen and which we're going to try to recover as much as possible. Once inside, detectives were joined by investigators from corporate stores like CVS, Target and Walmart, who pulled out boxes and boxes of stuff they believe were taken from their stores. I want to show you what's happening behind me here. You can see that they're loading all of the products into this very large moving truck. Both corporate investigators from CVS and Walmart are here, and they're able to identify if their products came from their stores. And it's very easy to do because many of these products still have tags on them. This South L.A. market was just one of 12 locations. The Organized Retail Crime Task Force served search warrants at Thursday morning. Investigators say it's all a part of a single criminal organization believed to be connected to recent smash and grab robberies and cargo thefts in Arizona, Nevada, and California, all brought right here to LA County. We've identified over 10 individuals involved in this particular operation, but there's numerous out there because these are, we are considering them crews. At this warehouse in Florence, detectives found dozens of pallets of household goods. Delve into the intricate web of economic and societal elements fueling this issue. Poverty's grip, the clutches of addiction, the specter of theft, and the societal stance towards consumerism. Unveil the ruthless exploitation of retail supply chains by criminal syndicates, advocating not merely for reactionary measures, but a comprehensive strategy tackling the root causes, while fostering alternatives to criminal enterprises. Uphold the sacred principles of law and order, economic equilibrium, and personal accountability. Survey the vast landscape of businesses, consumers, and communities, and raise concern over the pervasive and insidious nature of organized retail crime. Embrace the call for stringent law enforcement and punitive measures, as unearthing warehouses brimming with ill-gotten merchandise should serve as a clarion call to intensify the battle against organized criminal networks and safeguard lawful commerce. Probe into the underlying motivations propelling organized retail crime, dissecting the role of group dynamics, societal norms, and perceived opportunities in the decision-making process of individuals drawn into illicit activities. Recognize the profound impact of organized crime on its victims, communities, and law enforcement, thereby emphasizing the urgent need for support services and interventions aimed at addressing trauma and thwarting recidivism.